Hi guys, Glader here, and today I'm going to talk about kind of where I've been, and also about Crest, which is a free open source ocean renderer in Unity 3D, and it's quite beautiful. After spending the past few days playing Sea of Thieves, I kind of got inspired to explore the um, existing options for rendering oceans in Unity 3D, and really Crest is the king at this. It produces an a quite beautiful ocean that has a lot of the uh, water effects that you would expect. You've got, uh, it's very hard to tell, but you do have underwater foam as well as surface foam. You have some slight support for reflections that you can see. That's one of its weaker points right now, I think. Um, you've got this uh, specular highlights from the directional light. You have the subsurface scattering where uh, in between you and the ocean, if there's light penetrating the surface, you have this uh, lighter color. It's quite a, uh, it's quite a cool thing to have for real-time rendering. Underwater, you've got this, um, this I guess it's a depth-based fog, I don't really know. Uh, and, you know, you've got this, uh, it's brighter over towards the light. And if we go over towards um, the shore, oh great, of course the water's going down now okay so you can see these uh distortion of the lighting from the surface water surface and you can also see that there is a uh, there is refraction it's hard to tell because there's nothing there let me see if i can put a cube down there for you okay now you can see that uh, we've got some refraction maybe a bit too much refraction and the foam's a bit strong, but all this stuff's configurable. It's quite cool. This is definitely the best thing you can get for ocean rendering, and it's deterministic, parameterized by time, which means it's fantastic for creating a network game that involves an ocean. And it's only going to start looking better, because eventually it's going to have HDRP impl implementation. So yeah, it's really got everything that you would want, could hope for, in ocean rendering. And I really like it. And uh, if you want to get something similar to the Sea of Thieves look, with the, where you've got this shimmer on the water instead of this more plasticky look, we can actually change that. It's very configurable, so you can get this to look like whatever you want. So let's go ahead and change that. I think we will... Uh, I want to raise that. So now it's very bright. Which looks cool. But if you want to make it smaller, uh, I think it's the fall off. Yeah, there you go. So now you have that sparkly Sea of Thieves look uh, from the directional light. What would be nice is if you could, when you're not facing the uh, when you're not actually facing the directional light, you don't get any of that shimmer. So that would be one nice thing that you could maybe maybe get, and it adds some variation. Because there are pockets of the ocean that don't have variation, and you can kind of it something looks wrong. So if so if uh, these sh these like sparkly uh, bloom specular highlights were added in other parts other than just the intersection of the light from the directional light and the ocean surface that would be great but other than that man this is this is exactly exactly what i was looking for i, I mean you really can't get much better when it comes to free it's free and open source and it really it really is impressive to me so yeah that's the video today guys um that's where I've been. I've been slacking, to say the say the least. Let's see if we can change the color. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. Um. Okay. Well, we don't want to change that. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty beautiful. I love it. And the best part about it is it's parameterized by time. Glad I has support for network time synchronization. So you can synchronize the ocean simulation between clients 
and I might be doing something with that soon. So stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching this very random video about Crest, the cool open source water rendering system in Unity 3D. And I'll see you in the next video.